We're up on the table, guys, so I can try and do a bit of close-up work. Uh, honest truth, I don't think I'm going to get this back working. A couple of the gears. That's a good example. You can probably see the black split in it. This particular one, I've actually put in a vise to hold it together and put super glue on it. I doubt whether that will hold, but I've done that one. This one, which is part of a sort of clutch mechanism, spring-loaded clutch. This piece has got a split right up the middle of it as well. I can get me nail in there. This is the one, the crown gear there is the one that meshes with the motor. And then the teeth in there bind with the teeth there, or mesh with the teeth there when the pressure's on it. But it can slip over if it needs to. Uh, I think one of these is supposed to stick in place, I don't know. But they're both loose, which probably means that one's probably split as well. So, I don't think we're going to get the mechanics back together. I have spent quite a bit of time trying to work out how this little changeover switch works, which is operated by this forwards-backwards. Now, on the inside of there, there's two little pegs. Those little pegs there would push up against these two plates, the uh, springs, which I've got wired up to the motor and to an external battery. So that's going one way, and that's going the other way. It's quite simple the way it works. If I take all these wires off, that tag and that tag go to the battery. There's two metal plates, that plate and there's a similar one there going the other way. And then these two springs, when they're both released, one makes contact with one plate and the other makes contact with the other plate. So let's just assume positive goes through there, makes contact with that one, so positive ends up there. Negative goes through there, makes contact with that one, ends up there. When you push them in, one or the other, they make contact with the opposite plate. So when that was positive, it then makes contact with the negative plate. And when that one was negative, you push it in, it makes contact with the positive plate. Does that make sense? Well, that's how it works anyway. But they've been fairly abused, and I've actually spent probably a couple of hours trying to adjust them, spring adjust them, so that when it goes back in there, it actually works. And every time I put it back in there, it doesn't. I'll see if I can get it in there and try it. What I didn't explain is when this goes into the plastic housing, that wire makes contact with one spring, and then the other brush contact makes contact like that. That's where it sits on it. I strongly doubt that you'll be able to tell which way the motor's turning. Let's give this a try. That's anti-clockwise as you're seeing it. And that's clockwise. So that's pushing that one or that one. That one gives us clockwise as we're looking at it. And that one gives us anti-clockwise. So, that'll do for now, or a stage closer, I've put the motor and gearbox assembly back together, or this part of it. If I get it to run, uh, right, motor runs, that gear turns, but the next gear 
but I can see that this one's split as well. So, well, we'll keep going, but it's looking less and less like it's ever going to work properly. Right, that's supposed to link up on there. Okay, can I remember the rest of the gears? Hmm. I can't remember where that one went because that was the one that was well split. Alright, I'll carry on. On the positive side, I've just found out where that little bit of plastic comes from. That goes on a spring there. And it goes in there. All right, so that piece goes across there. It's got a blue gear that meshes with that orange one. Got a metal gear there, which appears to mesh with that thing. That little light was just poked, just pokes in there. That was just sort of hanging loose in there. Something like that. Okay, that's that side. Still haven't remembered where that one went. That's going to be a problem in a minute, isn't it? That one goes on there. I know that. That one looks like that goes on there. That'll be a push fit onto there. But where did that one go? That spring there would go over there, if I can get it on there the right way around. Like that. Right, don't need to watch the video back and work it out. The gear needs to be just there, which is just there, on that shaft. Well, I've moved the shaft across, pushed that gear on it, which is the one that was already split, and I tried super gluing, and as soon as I pushed it on there, it split straight away. So this is a no-win situation here. No matter what I do, this is not going to work when we're finished. So I think what I'm really doing is just an exercise in can I put it back together even though it's not going to work. Drop that one out again. Right. They're all lined up. Something just fell on the floor. Don't know what that was. Right, that one goes on there, and it's turned by the edge of that. That one goes on there, and a little bubble on that, or round bit, that's turned by this sort of clover leaf 
shaped cam on there. That light bulb is supposed to be in there. So that's sort of getting close to back together the way it should be. And then that gear, which is split, so as soon as we try turning it, it's probably going to snap right off. But that's supposed to mesh with that green gear on the inside of the wheel there. And the other bits that are supposed to go inside. Oh yeah, that bit. Don't want to forget that. That's all it does, it makes a little noise. Right, I think this is the <laughs> the crunch when it just nothing's gonna work now. Slipped out that side now. How can we do that? Not a chance of it working, but that's all the gears back in place. Yeah, probably just see that green gear lines up with that white gear there. Okay, I'll put some screws back in, then see if we can get the wheels back on. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.